hello guys so today we are going to build this localization app with block and as well as provider so in this app we are going to have different language options and we will switch accordingly so if we click on this hindi and it change and when we go back we can see all text in hindi if we switch to arabic then our ui got change everything from right to left now and if we go back and this is the text we switch to any language and when we close this app and open it again it will hold that state and if it is hindi then it will be in hindi so we can implement as many languages present but for this example i am going to demonstrate with these three okay so uh, the first part will be with block and the second part of this video will be with provider okay so we are inside the default flutter app and just let run this and okay so now it is up and running now uh, we need to have few things first so just go to pubspec.yaml file and add these dependencies so those will be this Intel, Flutter localization, Flutter block, Equitable, and set preference. Okay, and just get just uh, do a Flutter pubget, and it is done. Let's go back to our main dot dot. Before we are going to create a folder. Okay, so that will be L10 file, and inside this folder we are going to keep. All our language file so how it's going to be create another file and the file name should be Intel underscore and your language code okay so for English it is en you can find it on Google and you have to the file extension will be a r b okay and hit enter so it is a JSON file and inside this we are going to have few text so I'm just grab this text, paste it over here. So this is our text. So the name is Flutter localization, and everything is over here. So from this file, we are going to fetch it. Now, just go back, and in this file, just remove all this. Okay, and just create another folder. But just see, we can how create a folder and a file in one go so there will be a screens just give a slash and your file name so here it will be home screen and hit enter so it is going to create folder and file at the same time and inside this just create a stateless uh, widget and hit enter and just name it as a home and in the main file just remove all and import it over here and we have nothing because in this place just a placeholder replace this with a scaffold and here we go so give the app bar after this app bar we need to have some body so our basic structure of home screen is ready where we are going to have all the text in this file which is going to come from file okay and how we are going to do this so we have added Intel package so this is going to help us to do like mapping of our words we need to add few more things go down in this place and add generate to true and scroll down at the bottom and it is good so our pub spec yaml file is done now main part go to your home screen after this theme 
we are going to add a localization okay delegates and it is going to be a is going to be s dot delegates okay and where this s is coming from it is coming from our file okay so once uh, i have saved that i have added this generate this one it generated this file okay so if you come here you can see like a lot of codes which is basically mapping our words what we have in this file and this is the class which we are calling and we have to call this current to get our current name or the this mapping thing okay so it is very simple we don't have to do anything it is there and we need to add some more delegates there so this will be material widget everything and just add a flutter localization we have to add a support and this will be this support local will be from s delegate dot support locals and then we have to add a locals so this is the main thing so it say it want english and currently we have just english so just duplicate this file copy and paste rename this it will be hindi okay and just change this uh, content over here so yeah let us change save it and all done so you can see a message hindi is uh, generated by default we don't have to do anything else now how we are going to see this thing in our widget we have to come in this class okay our home screen and we have to access uh, the file uh, access the text from there so here we are going to write s capital s dot and then add a current and dot and we have all the things so over here it is a name save it it's change into filter localization now we will do same thing with all the words so it is coming directly from over this file yeah, all good now if i go to main dot dot and change this into hi in hindi and restart our app then you can see all text is changed into hindi so this is the thing we have to map our words over here in all languages so as many language we are going to have we have to have separate file for individual language inside this l10 file yeah that's all uh, we need for this but like how to manage this okay so there should be something uh, to change our language so for that let's build another screen and go to home dot dot add action okay and inside this action i'm going to add a icon button so we will add this icon dot language and if we click on this we have to navigate into other with this name language screen we are going to navigate from home screen to this screen so inside this on press add the navigation and just import this screen all good if we click we navigate to our language screen and for this we need uh, one more thing so that is going to be our model if language is in arabic so we are going to have this uh, this is a language model and we have to add in this manner so language in the original language text then in english what we spell and the language code same for english and same for hindi so if we are going to increase any more language we have to increase this list okay based on this list we are going to create a list inside a language screen so remove this const go over here add a body a body is going to be list view builder and builder is going to to return a radio list style add a item count this count is going to come from our language model dot length above body we have added this and this is going to come from over this file save it yeah so we are in hindi so we are able to see this in hindi 
don't confuse uh, it is like en that's why it is on en if you change into hindi it will be in hindi if uh, quickly create another file inside this uh, for arabic so we have our our arabic file also here okay and this is a point where like our ui part is done now we have to deal with our state management in this part we are going to add provider to change this value if we are going to click on this then entire language should get changed so we are going to do this with provider okay now uh, coming to the code so now we are going to add a provider so it is a bit simpler we have to create a new file for this so uh, we have this provider folder inside this we have localization provider so we have this localization provider we have already declared our default uh, value inside this private variable and we have created a getter and there is a setter also so we are going to do same thing we are going to check when we are going to set language we are going to check if it is not same as our previous language if it is not then we are going to proceed so in this we are assigning the language and we are saving it locally to know like what is our current language and when user open the app they will see that language the first so that is here this function is responsible to fetch the saved language okay and over here we are using set preference same as how we do in the block video so the same thing is here now we have to add this inside the language screen just go to the language screen and inside this scaffold I'm going to wrap this with a consumer widget so just wrap it with a builder and name it consumer for that we need to add a block package here so remove equitable and have add this provider okay just do a public add and yeah it is done now just add this child so this is the consumer and we need to pass the product over here localization provider yep so this is the provider in this file on change first we are going to do a group value is going to be the value which we are getting from here and after that we are going to add provider localization to set local and the item code so this is going to trigger this and it is going to save and notify our ui we need to bring this down inside here and we can say localization dot local dot language code that is going to work and to use this provider we have to add provider over here also so in the my app we have to add we have to wrap this with a widget it is going to be a multi i am using a multi provider simple and easy to use uh, so it's need a provider localization and we have to initialize it so yeah so this is done and we have to wrap this material app inside a consumer widget to listen like what is the uh, provider so just wrap it with a builder and you can do a simple thing just go to the language copy this much part come back and replace with this and all good so go to this locale remove this and localization provider locale we need to do a restart that's all now we do it in english it is in english and working fine with all the languages 
so let's save it in arabic go back close the app and see yeah so it is in arabic now go to english yeah it is working hindi yes it is working so let's change it to let keep it in hindi close this app and open it again and yeah it is in hindi so in this way we can have a localization very simply in provider and now if we have to like add anything any language like extra than this three language we just have to duplicate this file rename it add inside this uh, add inside this model and all done you are good to go with all different language which you need in future simple localization thank you and subscribe to this youtube channel like it and do comment what different video you want